Hydroponics has been around for a long time. It's where people use uh, liquid nutrients uh, for, for growing plants. Plants are grown out of soil, basically, and they get all their nutrients from the water. If you add in aquaculture, you can actually get those nutrients for nothing because what you're using is recycling the waste material from the fish or the shellfish. And uh, we're excited about this. It's, um, there's a big push on at the moment to make aquaculture and any industry more sustainable. And uh, in the past, aquaculture has relied quite heavily on external inputs from wild fisheries. And we're now moving towards recycling and uh, sustainability. And aquaponics is just one of those uh, systems that will help us to do that. Aquaponics is, as I said, um, relatively new. And uh, people have been, and interestingly, it's been pushed and promoted more at the hobbyist level. People get very excited about the idea of um, a complete contained system where there is no waste water. In other words, everything is recycled and you, all the different components of waste are now incorporated in other organisms. And those organisms can sometimes have financial gain as well. The thing is that a lot of people have been working away, as I said, at the hobby level. There's a little bit of science been there, but very little. And just recently, there's a, um, the COST program, which is a, a long-standing EU research program, has uh, funded a network called EU Aquaponics Hub. And this is bringing together all the European and also some of the third country, both, you know, in other words, America, Australia are involved as well. So we're getting together and we're comparing notes, if you like, and deciding where the gaps are. Because unfortunately, although there's a lot of enthusiasm and excitement about aquaponics, there's very little evidence that on an industrial scale, if you like, that it is economic. So that's the problem. That's where the research needs to go. So for us, a lot of people working in aquaculture would also be mainly fish or shellfish orientated. They wouldn't have very much experience with the plant side. And because the plants are an essential component here, on the freshwater side, we have loads of plants that can be grown well in hydroponics, lots of herb species. And in fact, interestingly, it's the plants that, are, that tend to be the most valuable component of the aquaponic setup. On the marine side, we've got seaweeds and something that we're working on here is a salt marsh plant called sea samphire or um, sea asparagus. A very valuable plant, but very little known about growing it commercially. So we're working on the plant side and trying to work out and balance. Basically, we have to balance the system. And very interestingly as well, on, as an educationalist, I see great potential in using aquaponics to demonstrate certain principles of ecosystem, maintaining ecosystem, sustainable ecosystems. And that's one of the, uh, so there's a double area of my interest, research into the species balance between the fish and the shellfish, between the detritivores and the plants, and also how, do we, how can we use the various components in aquaponics to teach and people about eco ecology, engineering, chemistry even, microbiology, all these components are potentially useful uh, angles for aquaponics.